Everything's going in the wrong direction at the wrong time, and the direction of travel is bad. These are the words of Andrew Cook, the general director of the Provision Trade Federation. That's an industry lobby group for dairy producers across Britain. What he's talking about is the upward direction, the spiralling increase of farmers' costs, whether it's fuel, fertiliser or feedstock for animals. These increases in turn are pushing up the price in the shops, not just of bread, meat and vegetables, but also the price of milk. Russia and Ukraine are major producers of wheat and other crops, millions of tonnes of which are usually shipped out via the Black Sea, which is now mired in conflict. Many leading sea freight lines are anyway refusing to handle goods originating from Russia. That's caused global food prices to soar, shifting attention to UK production. But with fuel and fertiliser prices also spiking, homegrown food is getting more expensive too. Fertilisers made from gas and a mineral called potash, produced in vast quantities by Russia and its ally Belarus, now also under export embargo. This time last year, fertiliser was around £250 per tonne, but now it's up to £800 as farmers panic buy in both gas and potash prices surge. Rising feedstock prices are also pushing up the cost of producing milk, with the price of a four-pint supermarket carton set to rise from £1.15 now to between £1.60 and £1.70, according to industry insiders, an increase of up to 50%. Now, powerful milk purchases like Tesco are talking about a 20% rise in the price they pay dairy farmers to reflect the rising production cost. But we're being told to expect a 50% price rise in the shops. Now, I could be wrong, but that sounds a bit weird, as if retailers' margins on milk are about to get much wider. And that's our on-the-money question today. A 50% rise in milk prices, production costs or profiteering?